Let's see, follow the light for me with your eyes. Perfect. Good. Okay, interesting. And could you let me know what color does the light appear to be at the end? A blue. Okay. What color are my gloves? A blue. Interesting. So my gloves and my light are pink lights. This is pink and the light is pink. What color is my shirt? White. My shirt is actually gray. There might be some colors off. We'll have to see. No worries. So I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Can you take a look at the light again? Okay. And I'm going to cover one of your eyes. And could you let me know? Do you still see the light? Good. That's a good sign. Let's check the other. I'm going to cover this eye. I'm going to shine the light at you. And can you see the light? Good. And now I'm going to cover the third eye. And can you see the light anymore? You're unable to. Interesting. It seems that one of your eyes is controlling the functions of the other ones. I'm going to write that down. I've never seen that before. But don't worry. I'm a professional. I know what we're doing here. I'm going to give you eye dilation drops now, if that's okay with you. Good. So, I have two sets of drops here. One is going to dilate your pupils so we can give you a color assessment test. And the other one is going to be a preparatory eye drop. Could you look up for me? Okay, well, look down for me because you're looking up is maybe looking down, so look down for me. Good. And I'm going to put one drop there drops onto the third eye, one drop and two drop, and onto this eye, one drop and two drop. And can you blink your eye like this? Blink and open your eye. And close your eyes and open them. And close your eyes and open them. Marvelous. You should feel them start to feel a bit uh, relaxed. Yes. Now I'm going to give you the secondary drop. And I'm going to put these into your eyes again. So, I'm going to ask you, here is one drop, two drop. Can you look down for me? One drop and two drop. And look down for me, one drop and two drop. And could you close your eyes and open them? Wow, your pupils have dilated quite a lot. That is interesting. We're going to measure every pupil now because the significance in how that is looking is just a bit interesting to me. So it does look like for this one eye over here, could you look directly at my nose? Close enough. Going to just measure there. The pupil is at about 14.5 millimeters. Let's check this eye. 14.25 and over here, 14.5 millimeters. Interesting. I've just never seen it before. I'm just gonna write that down. Okay, I'm going to take an extensive look into your eyes now. I do have these spectacles that I use. Do you wear glasses or contacts or have you in the past? No? Interesting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very deep look into your eyes, okay? I'm going to use the light again. And I'm going to use a secondary light. Just to make sure that I'm looking at what I'm looking, I'm going to ask you to look at this red light and focus on it, okay? Just take a look at this red light and focus at it, okay? And I'm going to just take a look. Oh my goodness. It looks like your eyes do have retinas, but your retinas are a beautiful rainbow color. Interesting. And can you close your eye for me? Can you open your eye? Good. And I'm going to ask you, can you look back at the red for me? It's not red anymore. What color is it? It's blue. Interesting. So, continue to take a look at the blue light. And I'm just taking a look here. Interesting. So, it does look like your eyes are functioning properly. The only difference is that the inside of your eyes is a gorgeous rainbow color, which I've never seen before. And I was analyzing the colors of your eyes are beautiful. But a crimson red is quite interesting. You also appear to have just a bit of glitter on your eyes. Is that natural? Interesting. Very much so. We're going 
reminds me of a lovely movie that I have seen before. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to give you an air pressure test because what I'm seeing is that we're going to have to take a, a deeper look into your eyes, okay? So I'm going to use a tool here that is going to add a pressure into your eyes to test your eyes. And I want you to let me know if you're able to feel the air pressure, okay? So I'm going to put this right on top of your eye and I'm, if you're going to hear a click sound. Let me know if you feel the air pressure, okay? So, three, two, one. Could you feel that? No. Okay, let's just see other eye. Three, two, one. Could you feel that? No. Let's test the third eye. Three, two, one. And could you feel that? Yes. Interesting. It seems like you have one dominant eye and the other eyes do not have the exact same sensory feeling. Very peculiar. Very peculiar. And I'm going to just give a quick test. I'm going to put a little bit of a electrical therapy and I'm going to test the reaction and shock of each eye. You'll hear a peep. Okay. And I'm going to put one right here. Three, two, one. Could you feel that? No, no reaction. Other eye. Three, two, one. Could you feel that? No reaction. Third eye. Three, two, one. And could you feel that? Yes. Interesting. So, it does look like you have one dominant eye. That is interesting to me. I've just never seen it before. So, I'm just writing that down. What I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to test your eye was something that we call a Snellen's chart. And what this does, it's a alphabetical lettering order. And what it does is it helps you assess what your particular vision is. We're going to do lens tests right afterwards to see if your vision has improved or decreased, especially with what we've seen before, as you happen to have 20-20 vision before, correct? Interesting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point at certain letters and I want you to let me know what they are with all of your eyes. Very good. So we're going to point at this first one up here. What letter is this up here? E. Okay. That's an E to you. Interesting. Can you read the second line for me? What are these letters? L and T. Okay. Interesting. Can you read perhaps this last line for me? Are you able to read it? What does it say? L T F P H. Okay. Um, that is interesting. So this first one's an A. The second line is an O and an R. And this last not line is a C. You saw the H in one of them, but you didn't see the H in the other. Peculiar. And if I pull this back a little bit to be a meter away from you, do you still see the same lettering or are the letters different? They are the same. Can you still read the first letter for me? What is it? E. Good. And can you still read this line down here? I'm going to ask you to read the one, two, three, four, five. Read the fifth line down for me. D H J. So, this next one 
should be a bit easier for you. Do you know what shape this is? What shape is this? It's a diamond. And again, you see green. Okay, well, this is a triangle. And it is red, same as before. But the consistency is good. On to the next. I do have this shape right here. Could you let me know what shape this is? That is a heart. And what color is it? Red. Well, this one's actually green. Interesting. So, that is interesting. This one is a rectangle and it is green. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we have a more peculiar shape here. Are you able to identify this shape? This one is an octagon. Uh, no, this is a rhombus. And what color is this to you? Pink? This one's purple. I'm going to give you a different set of items now to look at. So, I'm going to show you this little image here. Could you tell me what this image is? What is that? That is ice cream. Very good. You did get that one right. Now, it does look like shapes are not your favorite, but you can identify objects. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to show you another what this is. You're saying that looks like an apple? Okay, and what color is the apple? Red. Okay, well this is actually a bit of a pear. And again, it is green. I'm gonna give you one last one here just to make sure that I'm, I'm seeing this properly. Could you let me know what this is? What is this? That is a star. And what color is this to you? Yellow. Interesting. Interesting. This is an equilateral triangle and it is orange. So, there is something quite interesting going on with your eyes. Now that we have that written down, I'm going to give you an exam. It's called a 1-2 exam. I'm going to show you eye lens frames and we're going to see if your prescription gets better or worse with the stronger prescription that we get, okay? Good. So, I have a large set of lens frames here and I'm going to put these glasses on you and we're going to be able to put the lenses in the frames, okay? Just sit still. Good. And these are only going to work for two of your eyes, so one of them will have to relax for now, okay? So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to ask you a tester lens. I want you to let me know what effect this lens gives your eyes, okay? And I'm going to put it over your eyes now in three, two, one. What's the difference between one and two? What's the difference? Everything is red. Interesting. So, this is actually a green light film. So it does look like the color consistency is good, but you're seeing everything is red. Any other differences? Not that you know of. Good. Thank you so much. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test your prescription to a strong prescription and a lower prescription. You won't know the difference until I put the lenses on your eyes, okay? So I'm going to grab a lens here. And I'm going to grab two separate lenses, okay? One of them is going to be stronger than the other. You let me know which is which. Okay, so let me know what's better. This is lens one, and this is lens two. Which is better? One or two? One or two? One. Okay, one is at about a 3.0. Let's get that. Okay, and let's grab over here. I grabbed a lower prescription. Now you let me know what's better, one or two. This is one, and this is two. One, two, one, two. Let me know what's better. One. Okay, one is a point four. So we have increased to a four. Okay, let me know what's better now. This is one. This is two. One, two, one, two. 
which one's better, one or two? One is better. That is at a seven. No, no worries. I'm not, I'm not nervous at all. I know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, are you into sports? Have you recently had something like a cranial nerve exam happen to you before? Interesting. Have you ever perhaps fell and bumped your head recently? Not that you know of. Do you have any vertigo or dizziness? No. Okay, well, I'm going to test you for two separate lenses now, okay? So let me know what's better. One or two. One or two. Two? Okay. And last but not least, what's better? One or two. One or two. One. Okay, so your concave sphere is at about a point four. And your convex is at a 10. Give me a second. And you've said before this that you've never worn glasses or contacts. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take those frames off of your eyes now, okay? I'm just gonna ask you to just sit still and relax while I take the frames off of your eyes now. Good. So it looks like we do need to give you some glasses for now. Yeah, no worries. I know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm actually going to just take a quick sample from your eyes and then I'll let you relax, okay? I'm going to take just a quick sample just for analysis because I know what's happening. Don't worry. I'm going to ask you to sit still for a second. Okay, I'm just going to... Good. And the other eye... you off. 